Hello, hello. We are on night two of our 17 day social media revival. Everything new 2023 is the theme. Listen, last night was amazing. Last night was crazy. The word that the man of God brought was like crazy last night. But listen, the man of God that's getting ready to come on now is the actual prophet who's supposed to kick us off, uh, kicked off the revival last night, but his Wi-Fi was acting crazy. When I tell you, though, he go hell. Listen, this time we made sure we did a whole test run to make sure, people of God, that we won't have a problem tonight. I need y'all very quickly to tag 15 people. Listen, he been on fire since yesterday, so I'm excited. For the word of God that's about to take take part tonight. I don't know who he's going to prophesy to. I don't know what he's going to preach. I just know the theme is everything new in 2023. Listen. I, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared. And I'm excited at the same time. Because I know when this man of God. Hear from God. Man he pulled down mountains. I know when he hear from God. He shifts the whole atmosphere. So right away I'm going to go into prayer. Come on and I need you to tag 15 people. If y'all ready for the word. You should be tagging and sharing. Don't be on here just lurking and looking. You did lurking and looking all 2022. I need you to do something different. Within this 17 day revival. Listen. The only reason I do revivals on social media is because not everybody is comfortable with walking into a church, but I can't even explain how many times I've been walking somewhere, walking in a store and a young man done pulled up to me and like, look, I'm gangster, but I'm watching. Keep doing what you're doing. Or a young lady bumping to me in Walmart and she in tears. God up to something tonight. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we cover this live. God, I decree and declare every witch and every warlock got to back up in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for no interruptions in the spiritual realm. I thank you, God. Somebody is about to be delivered and set free. Father, we cover this live under the blood of Jesus because it's the blood that still works. God, I'm asking that you give confirmation tonight. To the ones who need confirmation, I have not spoken to the prophet that is about to be released on night two, but I believe he's going to bring confirmation, not only for me, but for others. So Father, we thank you. As the audience is built, I ask that you touch the heart of everyone who's supposed to be on this live tonight. God, wake them up. Allow them to scroll and stop here. Father, we give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen. Baby, I'm ready to bring him on. Look, I came into my son's room tonight because I don't know why I feel like I'm finna do a bunch of hooting and hollering. I ain't want to tear up my bed. You understand? So I came over to my son's room because his bed a little cheaper and I can replace it just in case it get crazy. Because this man of God that's coming on, I'm telling you, you got to have a crazy type of faith to be able to deal with him and get transparency. I said, God, I'm going to bring heavy hitters night after night after night. Why? Because we already into day two of 2023 and the devil ain't even playing. I've been attacked attack attacked and we just started but the devil don't even understand man i got some people covering me so come on let me let me let me call out some shout outs real quick of some obedient people that are on here if you won't get watching and you have not tagged 15 people you all out of order all out of order baby listen come on tag and share god bless you god bless you deliza Come on, God bless you, sis, for riding with me, for rocking with me, for supporting me. Blessings on you. Listen, God, God placed you in my spirit about some things too. It's some, you know, things I, I got going on in the back end um, with somebody else, but God placed you on my heart today too, man. I'm, I'm going to speak to you about that at a, at, a, at a later time. God bless you. Listen, I thank you for your faithfulness. I see Monica is on. Pretty red Barbie. Monica, God bless you, sis. And I pray he give us confirmation to the things you're praying about tonight. Uh, listen, I love you too, Kimberly. Come on, I need y'all to tag and share. Come on, come on. Blessings to your house, peace, salt. 
Come on, for talking and sharing. Come on, we ain't going to rush God on tonight. God bless you, Nakia Curry. Come on, I see I got the prayer warrior in the background, Prophet Ashmir. Just told me you jumped on. Man, I got to get you on this live. One of these days, man, again. You always wreck the place when you come. Tell mama I love her. She checked on me. She always sending me texts. I love me some Apostle Angela, baby. That's my girl. Arthur Janae Thomas, God bless you. Come on. Just three more minutes and I'm going to go ham. I need y'all to help me wake up Facebook. Diamond, I love you. My twin, my daughter is on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all push. Y'all push. And when I bring the prophet on, I'll be bringing people on too. Shanita Bryant is on, man. Thank you, sis, for rocking with me. Lakeisha Couch looking all cute. Since I was on your page earlier today, you looking like you about to grab you a whole husband out here in real life. Come on, God bless you for rocking with me. Come on, pretty diamond is on. God bless you, sis, for rocking with me, praying. Confirmation comes your way tonight. Come on, Tesla, God bless you. Come on, come on, Kimberly, God bless you. Come on, blessings to the ones who are tagging and sharing very quickly. Come on, I see my little cousin Tara is on. I love you, little cuz. Come on, proud of your transition. April, I love you, black beauty. Come on, Tara, I love you. Baby, you got to be blessed because you got my mama name. Kiana, God bless you. Blessings to your house. Listen, I'm going to get ready to bring on the prophet because I'm ready to start inviting some people to my live too. Prophet, if you can do me a favor and send a request to come on. The evangelist of Winter Haven, Florida is on. Sabrina Young, love you to life. Come on, come on. God is up to something. He's up to something. Man, I'm too excited about what God finna do tonight. Listen, the enemy stopped it last night, but, but baby, that ain't gonna work tonight. Come on, I'm bringing on one of the 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 the, 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 the prophets that the devil fear. The devil yeah. fear this man of God, man, because he bring pressure. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to introduce to you guys prophet. Come on, apostle, mm. pastor, evangelist. Mm. Come on, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm business owner, mm. man of God, our brother. Mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Our mm. friend, the, the, the transparent one, the God yeah. sent one. Yeah, I'm about yeah. to release him to y'all. And I want y'all to watch this. Pull on the hem of God's garment, because if you do that, yeah. he lies in him. So I know he's going to feel it. Yeah. Listen, a man of yeah, God, yeah, yeah. prophet, I'm going to back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can let loose. Yeah, yeah. And that God have his way. Yeah. How you doing, uh, woman of God? Happy New Thank Year. Thank you. Same to you. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm I'm actually already inviting some people to the live now. Uh listen, man of God. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and get into the vein that God has mm -hmm. led you in. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what happened last night, but I thank God for Pastor Damien because he bought an on time word. But mm -hmm. I'm I'm ready to see what we was gonna kick off this revival with last night. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Hey, Happy New Year to everybody. Real quick, I'm going to tell y'all, my, my Wi-Fi, as soon as I had got on the live yesterday to get on this, as soon as I sent the request, my Wi-Fi uh, broke down and clicked off. Right. Could not could not get on it, could not talk to anybody. People was trying to contact me. It wouldn't come through. It was literally uh, the demonic realm that was trying to stop what God was trying to Jesus. do. But I'm going to tell you tonight, in Jesus' name, first I want to say this, in this new year, we're talking about transition, we're talking about the, the the newness of God. He makes all things new. The Bible says that God makes all things new. Uh, uh, Shakira, before you even brought me on, the Lord spoke to me and he said, five, the people, that, there's going to be people on here tonight that God's going to release five multi-million dollar businesses Jesus. in their lives right now. So I'm asking right now, uh, uh, he spoke to me specifically me, and said five. There's five people on here tonight that God is going to endorse and bless with multi-million dollar investments. Investments. So in you, Jesus Lord. name, watch this. And in order to protect what God has for you, you want you want to do something new. You can't go into 2023 with a 2022 mindset yes. and do the same thing over and over that you've been doing. 2023 is going to require you to have some elevation mentally. Mm. You're not going to be able to. I'm just going to be real with you. You can't hang around the bums that you've been hanging around with. You can't hang around lame, old, dirty, nasty minded people, Woo. people that don't can't even clean their house. How I many know you got to get your 
your house in order. Yes. If you cannot get your house in order, God was speaking to me. You want to make all things new, clean your house up. Jesus. Get your mind right. Kick some people out your house that don't need to be there. Uh. Because what God, where God is taking you requires you to have a deeper measure of faith. And you might need to be by yourself. Ooh. You don't always need to have people around you that promise you false hopes. God is trying to get you into a place that he can speak to you real quick. I'm going to say this. In order for you, in order for you to be able to prosper and move further, you got to uh, not be worried about who's coming into your life or who's leaving your life. My God. I'm going to say it again. Yeah, right. because the people that are so quick to leave your life, they was never there in the first place. Yeah. They want to benefit off of you. They want to steal what you got. They want to see what, what God has blessed you with to take advantage of you. And all the women and men of God on here tonight, I declare, I break off every spirit of witchcraft that's trying to yes. take advantage of you, manipulating your mind. This is a season where your mind will be clear and your decisions will be clear. You will make good decisions. You will get out of debt. Your money will be right, yes, your family God. will be right, your kids will be in order, and you will stop messing with these dusty wannabe saints, these lying, manipulating Christians. I am sick and tired of this false religion, all these people claiming to be somebody that they are not. More discernment in your life in Jesus' name. Oh, y'all ain't even tapped in yet. Y'all better start drinking right now because I'm about to get drunk off the spirit. Some of y'all need to get sober-minded but be drunk off the spirit. Put away those things to the side that's stopping you from prospering because people yes. don't tell you what they believe you need, but God's trying to speak to y'all clearly in 2023. You mm. got dreams. You know them old dry bones. That's a vision that God's saying, hey, those old dreams you got, you need to prophesy to them old dreams. You need to call yes. them dreams back forth and you need to quit letting everybody around you speak in your ear and stop telling everybody your vision. Stop letting everybody meet your kids. Stop letting everybody My come God. up in your house. Stop putting your kids in situations that generational curses can be passed down to them. It is time to break that off. Boy, you better stop. I'm trying to tell y'all right now that God is trying to place you in something new. You know what? God's going to do a turnaround. He's going to teach you how to grow He's going to teach you how to prosper. Yes. He's going to teach you how to get things in order. But in order to do that, you got to drop some people off at the door. Yes. You, there's some new door. I, I, I speak this in Jesus' name. There are some doors in the next 30 days that are going to be opening up for you. I'm talking about under the sound of my voice. And through those doors, not everybody can go through them with you. Some mm -hmm. people, watch this, watch out for the enemy. Because some people go and bring you to some doors and say it's from God. But it's going to take a lot of wisdom yes. and courage to be able to say, no, I got to go at this alone. I can't go Jeez. with you through this because yes. last last time you you was only there for me when I was prospering. You was only there for me when My I was God. up. But when I became down, you was nowhere to be mm. found. I couldn't call you. I couldn't talk to you. When I needed a dollar, you didn't give me 50 cents. Mm. But when I, gave you, when I gave you 200 for your bills, you was all on me. You will never use me again, witch. You yes, will never Lord. Use, you will Will never use my family again. You will never use my ministry again as a crutch. You better stop playing with God. And I'm telling y'all right now that look, the greater is coming. The latter rain will be greater than the former. Yes. I'm not playing in 2023. I don't care who don't like my Facebook pages. Yes. I don't care if you share my page. I don't care if you throw subliminals. I don't care if you gather around other people. Y'all bunch of a whole bunch of witches gathering around trying to gossip and slander the man and the woman of God. All things become new when your heart gets humble before the Lord and God will exalt you above your enemies. Yes. So if you got enemies coming against you and they talking about you and slandering you, God going to exalt you before them. And the same people that tried to tear you down, God's going to build you up in front of them. God's going to lift you up in front of them. God's going to break the cell walls off of you. God's going to watch as you in the lion's den. You feel like you in the lion's den. It was not until God showed up in the lion's den that we would know that God could shut the mouths. Daniel did not go outside of the door and wait on God to shut the lions. He What did he do? He was inside yes. of the lion's den. Uh, in the lion's den is where the treasure is. So yes, all God. things new. Your treasure is coming out of your trial. Your treasure and your triumph is coming out of your secret place of suffering. And in 2023, your mind's going to be clear. Shakira, I'm trying to say, your mind going to be clear. Your decision 
decisions are going to be clear. You ain't going to make the same mistake as you did last time. Yeah. You ain't going to, de I declare this and speak this over everybody. You ain't falling for it this time. Ha! Mm. You fell for it the first time. Look, hold on, somebody. You fell for it the second time. Come. You fell for it the third time, and you became sick. And uh, you say, well, I got a good heart. Baby, don't you let somebody use your heart. Don't you let somebody God. suck the life out of you. Watch out for them python spirits around you. God spoke to me. He said, there is a Jezebel and a python spirit that wraps itself around the, the men and the women of God to squeeze and suffocate the anointing out of us. It suffocates our praise. It suffocates. You, you ain't even ready for it. Watch it, watch it. God said in 2023, the praise will come forth out of the birthing of our pain, and we will birth, watch this, we will give birth to the promises of God. Some of y'all got prophecies you've been waiting on for years. God said, because you did not give up, oh, glory Ooh. to God, because you did not give up, because you did not stop, because you kept going. Remember, hey, I don't know who I'm talking to. Remember you started out with them 10 people, and now there's only two? Remember when you... Stop playing with me. Remember when you started out with them 50 and now there's only 15? Remember when you started out with the ones that was so excited for the first three months and then the six months came, they couldn't handle the fire. They, they were more excited than you. They said, we're going to do this together. Well, come on, I'm going to speak to somebody tonight. Wow. They said, they said we're going to do this together. And then you know what they did? They started gossiping about you. They couldn't handle the anointing because the spirit on them didn't like the spirit on you. Jesus. And then they started to get other people that you was cool with to dog you out and now there's a whole bunch of them in one place talking bad about you and now it's a whole cult it's a whole witch coven and you mad because they left you mad because they coming against you the whole time god is like i i did this i shook it up so they would get away from you god says be careful who you bring in in 2023 not everybody is sitting on my couch and not everybody is eating at my table y'all better stop playing with me because i ain't breaking bread with a hater i'll bless yeah. you i'll pray for you but i ain't breaking bread with you i am and listen you can go ahead and push your little fake christianity to the side you, you can you can push your little religiosity well well christ says to love everybody i can love you but i ain't got to respect you Ooh, jesus i can love you but i ain't got to like you don't, don't sit up here and put your word curses and your spells on me and try to get my mind altered because he makes all things new. And God said, it, watch this, he's telling me it's time to see through the lies because a lot of us have been believing lies for year after year after year and it's stolen our joy. It's mm. stolen our marriages. It's attacking our kids. My God. It's attacking our finances. You, wanna, you want the bins, but you can't afford to even get the Uber. It's not because you're in a bad, it's not because you're a bad person. It's because the people around you people carry spirits they yes. carry witchcraft they carry yes. the, they carry the demonic realm on them i'm gonna tell y'all right now some of y'all got a bunch of snakes on you why do you think that paul had to shake the uh the snake the viper yes, some yes. Of got a whole bunch of vipers attached to you god show me tonight you gonna shake them off shake and you be carrying them in 2022 you had a viper of discouragement on you ah. you had a viper oh. you had a viper of lust on you <laughs> you had a viper of your baby daddy on you that would not leave and the poison was going inside of your body. But in this 2023, you about to shake it off in the yes. fire. Ain't going to be there to hurt you. It's going to be there to purify you. I speak fire in this, in this realm right now. I speak the purification, the fire of God over your life right now. You want to be blessed? Then be around people who are blessed. You want to be a, you want to be a millionaire? Then hang around a millionaire. Yeah. You want to be a giant slayer? Then hang around a giant slayer. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Get, mm. You got to get up and do something. I heard that. Tell you tell your neighbor to get up and do something. Pick up your mat and go. I heard this. I Thank you, Lord. A lot of y'all, 2022 was very hard. You was beating yourself down because what people said about you. Because mm. what people thought about you. What people said about your ministry. What they said about your name. God said, I have cleansed your name. Your name, it means 
becomes holy. Your name is sanctified. Yes, so anybody, anybody that speaks anything negative over your life does not have, watch this, the ability to come on your land. Mm. God says, I'm expanding your land. Shakira, he said, I'm expanding your land and the harvest will be greater yes, than you've ever right. seen. And the spirit of the Lord says, I'm going to send in tillers to help you glean all the extra fruit and harvest that's come. There's going to be so much you ain't even going to do with it. Thank you, Lord. Because some of y'all like, where, where you confirmation. at, Confirmation. Yeah, yes, Lord, where, where, where you at, God? I ain't He's seen sending you. out sheep. Yes, Lord, I, I, I ain't seen you. I, I haven't seen you, God. I, I, it's like I have my, my, my hands over my eyes and I haven't seen you. But God says, I've been there the whole time. And your, your little is about to be much because I've Thank seen the, the seeds that you have sown. Shakir, I even hear that for you. God says, I've seen the seeds Thank you've sown. I've you seen what's going on behind behind the, 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 the enemy lines. I've seen that you've run to the battlefield. I've seen this, but there's been people that have spoken against you, but but the enemy, he obviously didn't know how many intercessors was around. Yes, Lord. You. Some of y'all better Lord. watch yourself. Yeah, you better watch yourself. Look, there's 300, there's 300 and, or something people on here. I'm declaring that yep. the live will go up to 3,000, that it'll go up to 30,000, that there'll be an audience of a million, that people will be touched by the gospel. And, oh, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, in 2023, I declare that the Lord release your tongues. He yes. release your tongues. Some of y'all got, watch this, some of y'all got million dollar tongues. Uh, some, Jesus! Some of y'all have got impart. I, I, I declare this and declare it. You have million dollar visions that you are supposed to release over the body. You are supposed to release it. Oh, watch this. Over businesses. You are supposed to raise people up in this, but the enemy has had your tongue. People Lord God. have tried to silence you, but the Lord says, I'm going to break the bones of the enemy and I'm going to crush the skull of Jezebel and let the dogs eat their... Y'all better stop playing. Uh, Jezebel's getting ready to get kicked out the window to the dogs mm. and your voice will be heard. It, just like Lazarus come out the cave, loose him and let him go. Women of God, men of God, this is your season to be loosed and let go. You better mm. go for it if it's big or if it ain't. If Rome was not built in a day. Don't, ooh, hold on somebody. You want something new? Don't ride nobody else's wave. Yes, Lord. Don't don't hate on nobody else's wave and don't ride nobody else's wave. Be a trendsetter. You got the anointing on you to do something that ain't nobody ever seen. Yes, Rome, Lord. You, 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 you don't need to be mad at somebody else who's up. You need to continue to lift them up like Aaron and her did with yes. Moses. You 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 need to you need to lift some people up because as you do that, God will fill you up. The more you give, the more you receive. Yes, Understand Lord. this. The more you pour out, the more God will pour into you. A whole lot of things have been spoken over you in 2022 in the blood of Jesus right now. By the power of the anointing, I bind and rebuke every false prophecy, every word curse, every demonic spirit that's come against you, every spirit of depression and oppression, every lustful spirit, spirit of contempt, every spirit, uh, uh, watch this, of idleness, everything of complacency. I heard God say complacency is dangerous. You are not just okay where you are. You need to go further. God says, I want to bring you further. I want to take you higher, yes. and in 2023, yes, you have got to go higher, and if you don't want to come with me, then go on. Go about your business. Yes, I, would rather, I would rather you go and stop trying to Facebook blast and get some dignity and do Ooh. your own thing and quit blaming everybody else for what you got going on. Yes, how many of y'all right now, how many people on here right now got a whole bunch of things that been said against you, and it, it, it's kind of, it stung a little bit. You had some people, you know, that you really put your faith yes. into, but God yes. said it's it's all right because I had to let some Judases around. Uh, 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 uh. I had to let some people come around that you entrusted with things that were valuable to you so that you would see the value. Watch this is not just in things, but you're gonna have to start valuing people more. Oh, God. The uh. Value of people when a man, when a person shows their heart, God's gonna bring valuable people around you with honor. And I prophesy this. Confirmation. You're gonna, you, you gonna have people around you that's gonna hold the bag and they ain't gonna take nothing out of it. Oh! You're gonna 
all that got my confirmation. Mm, mm, mm. You gonna have Lord, you, gonna, you gonna have you gonna have you gonna have you gonna have CPAs. You gonna have people in your life on wow. a board of directors on a board of directors multi million dollars that is gonna not not fumble the bag because a lot of y'all you can't do kingdom. You can't just it, it, God calls us to build. You do you understand hundreds of thousands of dollars that we've given away? Do you understand that the kingdom is built off a of principle? It's built off of evangelism, love, the spirit, and finances. Come God on. uses finances as a tool to build the kingdom. And some of y'all like, oh, man, I ain't trying to hear that. You ain't trying to hear it because you broke. Ah! Wow. You ain't trying you ain't trying to hear it because you are judging you are judging the church off of tithes and offerings, but if you you would not judge the church off tithes and offerings if you tithed and gave your offering because you would know personally what that does. So how can you judge a person based off the principle of God? How about you step in and say, "God, I'm gonna be obedient to you and I'm not gonna let the enemy steal what God has for me." Yes, in Lord. Jesus name. In Jesus name, let your yes be a yes and your no be a no, stop playing with God. In 2023, if you tell me you're going to do it and you don't do it, then get away from me. In 2023, if, if, you say, if you say you're going to show up with and, that you, confirmation. And, and, and you don't show up, then don't come back. Y'all yes. stop playing. If you Jesus. say you're going to be in position and then you don't want to be in the position, then don't be in the position. Don't say it to please me. You ain't going to put, I don't want people pleasers. I want Jesus worshipers. Yes. I want faithful sons and daughters of the house. I don't want fake ratchet trifling want to be christians walking around with the same mindset <laughs> running their <laughs> mouth talking crazy still doing the same, same things you've been same. doing sit for year after year laying on the same couch you broke busted and disgusted <laughs> you don't drunk. change your, you don't change your sheets you don't wash your clothes your house is a mess use a whole hoarder Jesus. how can your life be in how can your life be in i know y'all know some of these people how can y'all uh, be worried about somebody running their mouth about you when their whole house you can't even hear them because they got to make a pathway to get to the bathroom lord god i'm gonna tell you right now i declare this that uh watch this that visitations visitations be released into your life witty inventions business ideas ministerial ideas watch this i'm, I'm gonna say this Shakira, i'm getting ready to go deep i'm getting ready to go deep don't you dare cast your pearls among swine yes don't you go nowhere where you are not honored if God tells wow. you to go there, then carry it out because the honor will come to you. But don't be in a place just because you say, I'm going to try to earn some honor. When you're in a position of leadership, you don't need to earn anything. Your fruit will tell by itself. It. You need to quit trying to earn people because when they leave you, it's going to wow. break you down. Mm -hmm. You're going to be burned out. You're going to be exhausted that you gave your heart to them. What? Guess what? Nine times out of ten, they going to leave. Nine times out of 10, they go hate. Nine times out of 10, they go eat with you and then they go sell you out for 30 pieces of shekel. They, I'm trying to tell you, you got to understand that people is not your problem. It's principalities and God is trying to protect you from making another bad decision. So see, watch this. You're going to have to make some decisions that's going to hurt in the flesh. Oh my God. you going have to make say you gonna have to some of y'all listen everybody on here you gonna have to make some decisions that's gonna hurt Jesus you gonna have you gonna have to tell yourself no you, uh. when, when, when your phone ring and it's him and he uh. said when your phone ring and it's him and he said I got this I got this I got this Moet I got this Henny over here when he said, come over here, we need to talk. What you going to do? Keep it real. You, because, yeah. watch this. Because, well, you know what he going to do? He wants to smash, crash, and smash out. He want, he, he going to smash, crash out, and then smash out. And then he going to leave you in the same situation. You going to be feeling a certain type of way, talking about, well, he loved me. That man don't love you. He loves the devil, and he loves sex. He loves your Jeez. body. He loves your breast. He loves your booty. He don't love nothing about you. He don't love the virtue about you. I love, he don't love your virtue. He don't love the God in you. He don't love the Holy Ghost in you. He wants some. He wants to get off. He wants to get off, and he wants to bounce. He, he wants to go back to selling dope. He want to go back on the block. He wants to go do what he do with these other females stop playing with these people mess with a dude that chases jesus more than you do yes lord come on mess with somebody who pu pushes you look and i declare this i speak this in 2023 you gonna be surprised about the people that god puts in your life you gonna say come dang on. i i didn't know that these people could be more on fire than me ah! 
Come on. And, 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 and that's not even a prideful thing. Lord, I didn't even know. I'm going to be real with you. I've been around so many lames. I didn't even know that there was people out there like me. I thought I was the last of a dying breed because it's so hard because God separating the wheat from the chaff. God, the, I'm talking about the real soldiers finna wow. stand up, and then and then God said you need to be ready and get that judgment out your heart because you've been wounded so so bad by the church. Wow. You've been wounded so bad about by Christians. You've been wounded so bad by these saints, and God gonna put real people in your life, and you gonna say, oh my God, these people just gonna see trash and pick it up. These people over here just gonna see wow. chairs need to be moved. They gonna move them. This person go see that there needs a stage built they gonna build it this person over here wow. gonna see a, va a van for your business they gonna buy the van you see a person over here that needs a loan they gonna give you the 50 bands you gonna see a person over here that and they just gonna do it you know why because you are valuable stop bringing yourself to a place where you're only getting the crumbs from the master's table there's two revelations to that i just need a crumb from god to survive but i'm not gonna let an idiot feed me a crumb when god's got a steak on the table for me. Mm. Wow. I, I'm, I'm not even, I'm not, if some of y'all got to get in your head, you, some of y'all ain't even on my level. And this is not a disrespectful, prideful, arrogant thing. Sometimes you got to think that way to protect yourself in a healthy way. You got to say, listen, I love them and I, I appreciate them. But, you know, I'm not captain save a Christian. I ain't finna save everybody. I'm not finna pour myself into everybody. Stop messaging me. Stop messaging me all night long talking about my boyfriend did this. You going to have sex with him again anyway. You going to do the same. You, 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 you over here calling me, asking me for advice, just so, and then when I tell you the advice, you mad at me. You called me and asked me, stop calling me, leave me alone. Wow. I, ain't your, I ain't your pastor. Go find you a pastor, tithe into his church, and go do what you got to do, or whoever you sitting under, because we tired of your mess, wow. and so is God. My God, keep it real. We tired of keep it real. Mess. I don't want to hear your gossip. I don't want to hear your drum. In 2023, listen, who am I talking to? Who, who, where's the ones that have to say, I'm tired of listening to what you got to say about somebody else all my life. I'm about to bring the person over here that you're talking about so that you can say the same thing to them that you've been saying to me. Because I ain't. if you can say it to me, you can say it to them because you're so gospel gangster, right? You're such, a Facebook, you're such a Facebook thug, ain't you? You a whole Facebook wow. thug. You anointed to, with them keys on that messenger, ain't you? Because you Boy, you will stir up strife. You act like you can't be a witch on Facebook. You act like you can't be a Facebook witch. You want to get on Facebook and mention somebody's name subliminally. You might not even put their whole name, but we know who you're talking about. You a whole witch. You sitting in the house. You ain't got nothing to do with your life. Who am I talking to? Y'all ever met somebody like that? In 2023, 2023, I heard I heard this. Shikha, I heard this. Let's get let's get it. God said in 2023, if you want your life to change, you got to change your perspective on how you respond to people. You can no longer wow. judge. Just because somebody says something to you does not mean that you have to respond to it. In Jesus' name, 85% of the things that come to you are going to be negative, and God says 85% of it don't respond. Wow. They don't deserve a response. They do not reserve a reaction. They do not deserve a response. And when you respond to the devil, you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Yes. It, is time to, it is time to grind, get on your hustle, feed your yes. family, do, Pick up your battle, your, your sword for battle. Put your armor of God yes, on and stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Yes, Lord. Stop crying all the time. We are all hurting. We are all in pain. We are all in the same boat. But guess what? Peter was the only one that got out. We in the same boat, all of us. But if only one gets out, don't hate on me because I got out. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. I ain't in the hood no more. I ain't selling dope no more. You can sell dope. I, I, I ain't I ain't selling dope no more. I'm tatted bad, and, 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 for real. And everybody knows I'm gonna tell you the truth. And you say, well, he he's somebody who he's not. No, I'm in the image of Jesus, and you're just looking at the worldly view of what you think I am. You 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 don't know me, because if you did, that demon wouldn't speak out your mouth like that. Uh, 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 uh. Boy, I'll snap a demon's neck in half and cast you into the swine and throw you into the mm. river. This ain't no.
name. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Watch this in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord just showed me this. I'm going to speak this in Jesus' name. Everybody under the sound of my voice in your house, I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit manifest in your house in Jesus' name. And God begins to refresh your walls. He begins to refresh your kids. He begins to refresh your significant other. Yes, God. The, the spirit of the Lord, I, I see in the spirit, the Lord is lighting candles and I can see these candles are men of God yeah. in your house. And you've been, women of God, you've been going to church and you've been praying for your men of God. Wow. And God says in 2023, the prophetic will come out of them. The man that they are called to be in the home and in the church will come up out of them. Yes, God says Lord. your prayers and the enemy may try to stop it. He may try to stop it, but what God ordains, you can't stop. Look at Shakira, been going how long? You ain't stopped her. Look at her growth. You ain't stopped it. Look at all the views. I ain't stopped it. Look at the shares. You ain't stopped it. But That's a lot cool. of witches, a lot of witches and warlocks had a whole bunch to say in 2022, yeah. and it didn't do nothing but prepare a table before her in the presence of her enemies. Yes, there's a whole lot of, I, I, I just heard the Lord, there's a whole lot of food on the table tonight. God, come on. Matter me. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a whole lot of food on the table tonight. There's, I said, listen, hey, there's so much food on the table that not only are you going to eat it in front of your enemies, watch this, and how your enemies tried to steal your blessing, you're going to eat the food, the blessings that God has for you in front of them, and they're still going to sit there and be like, let's take it. God says, you can't take this because there's a wall of fire that surrounds them and the glory within. You are anointed, appointed, and approved in Jesus' name. Who am I talking to right now? The, the, the Spirit of the Lord says that there that there is a a woman a, a woman of God on here who is opening up a new salon mm. but she, she watch this you've been having trouble there's details in this you've been having trouble obtaining the building mm. but God, but God says don't worry because the the new location the real location is coming and God has already ordained it and the foundation is there for mm. you and when you and when you go into this place, if that is you, just say that's me, because I want to bless you. Mm -hmm. But when you go to when you go to this place, God is bringing you to a new location so that you can advance the kingdom. Everything that God gives you is about advance. And if you want something to change, if there's anybody around you that's not advancing, drop them like it's hot. Ah! If there's anybody around you, come on, somebody. If there's anybody around you doing the same old thing, still hating, running their mouth, drop them like right. it's hot. And you right. ain't go. You will not be able to go to the next level hanging out with basement people. You got basement people, and you got balcony people. Come you got on, people, balcony. Boy, mm -mm, I, 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 watch it. He said, "I'll open up the windows of heaven." Look, hold, hold on. Look. What she just said, Diana Ward just said, she just said, come on now, it's me you're talking to. Diana, in Jesus' name, the building is there. God's going to direct you to the right one, and the finances are there. The loan is there. Everything you need, God's going to give it to you in full in Jesus' name. I declare it that that's what God wants to do. He don't want any of us in debt. The year of Jubilee is upon us in Jesus' name. God says, everybody who's hungry, come eat. Everybody. Everybody who's hungry, come eat. Because listen, if what you got one person in your ear, oh, well, you shouldn't do that. But God told me to do. No, I don't know. If God told me you operating in the wrong spirit. You ain't in my circle. You are not in my. You are not in my circle. You are a snake. You are a hater. And I already know about you anyway. I'm a Christian, but I still don't like snitches. This. Ain't Ain't even got nothing to do with a street code. I'm a, I'm a Christian. I still don't like rats. I still don't like how you walk around church. You a holy you you a holy you say you a holy ghost uh, spirit filled Christian. You a church made rat. You like walking around. You like walking around with them teeth out. Talking about did you hear what dude said? Da, 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 da. Did you look at what pastor said? You a whole snitch. You a six wow. nine in this. You a six nine in the spirit. Wow. You a whole, you a whole rat. And God said, watch this, watch what God's saying. There is a difference from trying to, you know what? The year of exposure, the, people want to expose you. 
People want to expose you for your sins. Who cares? They can't take away what God's got. If you got fear of being exposed because of your sins and your struggles, that's all right. Because the Bible says, watch this, confess your sins among men and pray for each other that you may be healed. God is not blessing nobody who's getting on Facebook trying to expose your personal business. You are a a lame witch Uh. and you're going to get what's coming to you because you will reap what you sow. God will not be mocked. Y'all need to quit playing and allow God to bless you in this season. This is your time. This is your season. This is your new year. This is your joy. This is your joy. This is your joy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yeah, he Holy Ghost filled, but did you hear? You Holy Ghost filled. Let's turn the lights on in your house with your nasty self. Mm. We got to get, we got to get, watch this. We got to get real because there is an anointing on your life to meet the, the requirement and the need of the Holy Spirit. You, uh, you are not look, looked over. You are not left behind. Watch. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, uh, watch this. Uh, look, people are over here screaming right now. Look what they say in security. They over there screaming on the live right yes. now. They over there going ham on the live right now. Here's what I want y'all to do right now. Because I'm, 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 I'm still speaking, but I'm just the Lord just shifted me a little bit. I'm gonna tell you this right now. In 2023, you can't go into this thing holding all kinds of hatred and anger and bitterness in your yes. heart because it's it's gonna suck the life out of you. Yes, it's going to suck the life out of you. And what God has for you is for you. And I'm asking you, drop it off the best you can. And when it pops back up, drop it off the best you can. And I know that you've been betrayed. There's a spirit of betrayal that's been on you in 2022. But God says, I'm going to bring people around you that you can actually tell stuff to that ain't going to, that ain't going to uh, spread your business. Come They're on. not going to gossip. They're not going to slander because we need real friends like the four yes. friends that dropped yes. the lame, that dropped the lame man off and really the top of the house off to lower him, the paralytic man in front of Jesus. Did y'all know that they used to watch this secure that they built those uh, roofs off of mud and clay and dust? Did you know that you are made from mud and clay and dust? Did you know that is a picture that they had to rip that roof off? That is a revelation of the flesh. In order to see Jesus in 2023, you got to tear some flesh out the yeah, way God. so you can see God. Yeah, God. Yes. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to tear some things away. You're gonna have to lower yourself to see God. And I say you're gonna have to humble yourself. He exalts the humble, but humbles the exalt. Boy, you better watch yes. and, and, and watch this. Your your even your speech is gonna change. Wow. Watch. God is going to put your your speech is going to change based on the nature of where He puts you. You will become all things to all men, so that you will win, so that you may win some. God is going to put you in front of executives. You have got to speak the language to meet them where they are. God is going to give you the words to say that will prosper you. You say, God, I don't know how I'm going to make it. God says, Don't worry, open up your mouth, and I'm going to fill it. Yes, God. Because you got to quit hanging around people who are filthy. Uh. You got to quit hanging around people with these mouths that are filthy and do not glorify God. That's right. Them filthy, them filthy mouths ain't going to get you blessed. Them filthy the mouths ain't gonna get you around executives. Them filthy mouths ain't gonna make you multimillionaires. Them filthy mouths ain't gonna get you in a in your kids a good 401k in a good college. That acting ghetto and ratchet's not gonna get you in a good place. It's time Come to on. change. Repentance is real. Did Come you, on. Hey, repentance is real. Change is real. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. This is a message that will bless your life tonight. You are more than enough. Look at all these people. Confirmation. Confirmation. It's for me. It's for me. Of course it's for you. Eat the bread. God blessed the bread. Then he broke it and he passed it around. I prophesy in Jesus name that in order for you to be, watch this, to be broken, you you say, what do you mean? Isn't that a catch 22? God blesses you first. Then he breaks you. Then he passes you around. If you are broken right now, it's because you are blessed Mm. and God has to pass pass the anointing in your life around so everybody at the table can eat. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hold on. Some of y'all, some of y'all don't want to be broken. Mm. Some of y'all say, 
sound so broken right now. There's two kinds of broken. There's broken in your flesh and there's broken in the spirit. God said, I'm going to do both of them because I'm gonna, after I heal you, you're, you're already blessed. I'm going to pass the oil and the bread around that comes from this so everybody can eat off the victory that I've given you from your brokenness and your trial. Say, say some of y'all are in the dark right now and at home. Some of y'all are at home right now. You, you, you say, Pastor, I'm getting ready. I, I'm exhausted. Let's get to it. We're about to end here in just a minute, but I, I'm going to end strong, Shakira. Mm. I'm going to end strong. I'm going to end strong. God, get, God spoke to me, and he said, January 1st when I woke up, he said, I want you to sow a seed for the new year. Watch this. And I said, God, I, you know, I've been sowing financial seeds the whole the whole time. He he wasn't even worried about that. He said, I want you to go into the into the secret place, and I want you to sow into me. I want you to bless the blesser like Martha did. Uh, he Martha, Martha or Mary. Watch this. This is so important. Mary with the alabaster box took her hair down and broke the alabaster box of oil and anointed the anointed one. In 2023, you got to bless the blesser. Your relationship with God has got to be closer than your relationship with TikTok. Mm. It's got to be closer than this music you listening to. It's mm. got to be close because, boy, you can be on Facebook. Let's be real. We are on Facebook, all kinds of stuff, six, seven hours a day. We need to get in the Bible six, seven hours a day. God will bring more provision to you through anything you can even imagine when you are obedient to him. If God is spoken to you on this live tonight and he and god has spoken and he said look i'm gonna put it down right here i'm gonna put down how you can give but i'm gonna tell you what god showed me mm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it down what god has shown me god said i want you to sow into the new year for the harvest this is going to be a seed tonight now watch this how this works i want you to sow a seed tonight that will set you up glory that will set your foundation up for the next 300 and what, 62 days? Jesus. Oh, well, oh, oh, now, now look what I'm about to, look, look. watch how prophetic this is. This is prophetic. When you sow your seed tonight, it could be 500. It could be, I, I really, how can I put a number? It could be 5,000. It could be 50,000. It could be a million dollars. Look, y'all got to understand that you can't outgive God. Mm. It, but whatever. Ever you can give, sow that seed in in, in this thing tonight. I'm uh, Sister Kira. I had my uh, the thing to give. I left it on the her numbers down here. You can get through right Zelle and Cash mm -hmm. App, I believe, and the numbers down here for all of those, right? Yes. So for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Vimo, <laughs> the number is seven five four two four six zero five eight zero. Yes. Why? Watch this. Watch this. 754-246-0580. Now watch this. Don't leave me yet. Don't nobody leave. Because for your new year that's going to set you up for the next 360 something days, Ooh, I want you to sow I want you to sow a sacrificial seed into the ground that goes into this word tonight that will not watch this that will cultivate the word over your life that will set the ground it will set the ground up for the rest of the seeds. Watch this. This is a vision that we tilled tonight a a, a field, a land we we have tilled a land tonight. We have we're on acreage tonight. We got a bunch of acres in the spirit tonight. And God is saying, who's going to sow that seed tonight that's going to raise this that's going to prepare this crop to be raised up for the next 360 something days. If you say if you say I'm going to sow a thousand. In fact, let me get 10 people on here tonight to pledge a thousand dollar seed. I'm not getting off here until, until I heard this actually to be real with you because I ain't going to manipulate or play with God. I, I'm, I want 10 people to sow a thousand dollar seed. My, 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 my. To sow a thousand. That who, who will commit? 10 people. There's How many people you got? we got on here, Shakira? I see 417 up top. So that usually means 4,000. Okay, okay, okay. So check this out. All I need is 10 people that will commit tonight 
to sow $1,000 into this ministry. My God. And that's out of all these people. And if you do, look, somebody said they're finna sow their seed. If you want to sow the thousand right now, sow it. And I'm going to, I'm going to stay on here with you. I'm going to stay on here with you because I know this is from the Lord. We want to raise, we want to raise, if you want to sow it, if you want to sow a $10,000 seed, if you say, I'm going to sow a ten thousand dollar seed tonight. Look, this is, you, you can feel the anointing on this. Cultivate this in Jesus' name. This isn't going. This is this is going into the word, into the anointing. This is going into the kingdom. And what I want you to do is, when you send this to Sh uh, Shakira, when you send it the, to the seven five four two four six zero five eight zero, correct? Mm -hmm. When when you sow when you sow into this tonight. They said, what is the amount? You can sell whatever the amount, but I'm just pledging. I need 10 people to pledge $1,000 tonight. But uh, this will set you up, my God, for the harvest that's coming for the rest of the seeds. Somebody said they saw 333. Sow 333 then right now. Go ahead and sow. Go ahead. And, if, and, and I'm going to ask everybody, if you do not have the finances to sow, uh, if there's people on here that do, sow for somebody else on here. Look, somebody just said $1,000 right there. God bless you. Somebody, another person just said $1,000. Uh, uh, she said, this is divine. You can sow whatever you like. Anybody can sow whatever you like. You can sow 20. You can sow 50. You can sow uh, 75. You can sow $5, whatever. But I just feel led. I heard that deep in my spirit. Glory. If you don't have it today. When God gives it to you, come back to this word and sow. It could be next week. It could be whatever. But this word, the Lord's word, goes forever. Look, uh, Sister uh, Tara says, can somebody sow? Amen. Sabrina said, this is good ground. If you, let me ask, let me ask everybody before I get off here. If you are pledging, if you are pledging to sow uh, $1,000, we're just asking 10 people to sow $1,000. If you say, I'm pledging. Just put down, I'm pledging $1,000. Do that real quick for me because I'm going to call your name out and I'm going to lift it up to heaven right now. If that's you, I'm just going to take a couple, I'm just going to have a couple, uh, take a couple minutes. <clears throat> I, that's right. Also tag and share. We're going to wait on God. This is, a, this is, we are, we are at the altar. <clears throat> Hallelujah. That's fine. You can sow that. Uh, Sister Jacqueline says, please sow for her, please. Uh, what is the name? Uh, Sister April wants to know what's the name of the seed. Uh, seed. The seed is uh, harvest time. That's what the Lord put on my name. Hey, Sister April, you can sow in the name of harvest time, and it'll come through. It'll come through Sister uh, Shakira's page and on her, on her giving apps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Thank you, woman. I miss you. She said she sowed. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Nakia Curry, we th we bless God for you. She said she sowed. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, somebody. Father, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Sister Nicole said that she wants to, Sister Nicole said uh, she sowed. Uh, Shakira, we just going to let God do it. My God, and I, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that all of this, Lord, that you just come forth, God. We bless the seed tonight. We bless the word. We bless the, the, the word for the new year. We bless, somebody just said uh, harvest time right there. That's exactly right. We're just asking 10 people to pledge $1,000 a piece. My God, hallelujah. And if you can't sow, if you can absolutely not sow, we pray that the Lord opens up. Look, somebody just else said, somebody said they sowed. Another one said they sowed. Uh, Deli who is that? De Deliza Phillips. She says she sowed. Uh, Sister Kelly Ray is asking if somebody can sow for her. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, boy. I, I'm telling you, I'm ready to see the glory of God, but it's not God's will for the saints to be broke. Whoever told you that is the devil is a liar. Mm. The devil is a liar. Sister Tara says, can somebody sow for her? Uh, mm. uh, uh, Sister Smith says, man, I'm, it's going on and on and on and on. It goes on and on and on. I want to give the information again. If you are giving, you can <laughs> give through Cash App, Chime, PayPal, Zell and Vimo. It's seven five four two four six zero five eight zero. You can also text the word invoice to seven five four two four six zero five eight zero. Text the word invoice the amount you want to give and your email. 
Hallelujah. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you for the victory. Hallelujah. Man, there's so many people giving on here. I just got to, I just, I'm just going to pray. Father, we just thank you for all the seeds. We thank you for the word that came forth. I thank you for the prophetic harvest. Lord, I just ask that you release an abundance yes. over everybody. Yes, God. Oh, my God, over everybody that is sowing right now and will continue to sow. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus that as I, and I'm hearing this peaceful sleep tonight. Yes, God. That tomorrow when you wake up in Jesus' name, it is a new day and new opportunities. Lord, I thank you for the victory. I ask God for new beginnings and that you are doing a new thing. God. God, I give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. I love y'all. Thank you so much for having me on, woman of God. Bless you, man of God. I'm going to call you after. Yeah, absolutely. Bless y'all. Love you guys. Listen, you guys, that wraps up night two of our uh, 17 night social media, everything made new revival. Listen, this man of God was supposed to come on last night, but the devil was blocking him from jumping on. He gave me so much confirmation about some things and some people and some things I was praying about on tonight, man. Deliza, I'm going to get you up too. Um, and, you know, God is doing a new thing. And what I'm learning is whoever going to follow you, going to follow you. He, he blessed me when he said you got basement people and balcony people. This season, we got to get connected to some balcony people. Balcony people. Balcony people, God is up to something amazing. So listen, the seed amounts tonight, he said, so whatever is your first sacrifice in the season, um, this 2023 season. He called out some numbers. You may say, I only got $20. I got $50. I got $500. I got $100. I got $17. So according to what God is leading you to sow into, 754-246-0580. That was for Cash App, Chime, Pell, PayPal, um, Vimo. Uh, I got to watch it from the beginning. But I, I didn't get to watch it from the beginning, but I see the last 10 minutes, and, and I still so because I trust God. Akeem Hughes, you got my type of faith. You got, it only take a second to hear something that, that brings confirmation. This, listen, last night was powerful. Y'all missed last night. Go back and watch it. Tonight was powerful. I'm telling you, tomorrow night is going to be powerful. I'm bringing heavy hitters home. And the reason I did the revival online instead of in church, it's so many people doing them in church. But a lot of people never walk inside a church. So I got to do it where people still can get the word of God. So I'm a different type of minister. But guess what? I was created to change the world. Listen, follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every live video there. If you have a loved one who need this video, follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. Follow me, people of God, on um, TikTok at evangelist Shakira. Um, listen, God is doing some amazing things. And follow me, up on, of course, on Facebook at Shakira McFadden. This man just bought me so much confirmation. Y'all just do not understand, man. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand, man. I, I wish I could release the prophetic word that Dr. Regina Martin gave me. New Year's Eve, uh, but I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to wait a little bit. Follow the prophet of God who was on tonight, Jeffrey Pitts. Jeffrey Pitts, we've been rocking together for a while now, man. I got to make it down there to his state soon. And I'm bringing my group WAC with me. Listen, it's 30 of us strong, man. WAC women atmosphere changes. I'm so ready to drop the photo of the group. They from different states all over us. Some of them teenagers. I think we got about five or six teenage girls. And I, I told them that I'm not uh, uh, going to uh, uh, bring them on or say who they are until we get this photo done. Uh, they're coming down in February to Fort Lauderdale. Then after that, man, it's only up state after state. State after state, we coming to do ministry, man, knocking down the enemy's kingdom. And I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. Listen, I love God. My question is, do you love him, man? Because he for real, for real. I'm telling you, yesterday was a crazy day for me. And I cried, cried, cried on the phone with some people. Like, this is the first of the year. How did the enemy do this? But I, I, listen, give yourself one day to cry. I want everybody to drop that below. One day to cry. One day to cry. One day to cry. God did not say we can't cry. 
cry because your tears water your prayers. But one day to cry. Man, you know what, Keisha? Lakeisha Couch, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen, you, you know you was a no for me when it come to certain things. But the way God, when I stood behind you at the altar in Texas and laid my hand on your back as you got filled with the Holy Ghost, Keisha, I'm going to call you tomorrow too because I really, I really see like this, this triple thing that God about to do for me. Listen, I, I'm, I can't even talk, but we're going to talk. Phyllis, I love you so much, man. Made a connection with that woman of God, man. And I'm telling you, I'm supposed to came down there to do one thing. You end up doing 50 other things. But, man, I love your heart, man. It's so pure, man. You got a heart for people just like me. Keisha, I'm going to call you. Yeah, I'm going to call you. Because God about to shift some things and shake some things up. I got plenty of clarity tonight. I need, man, I need some balcony people attached to me. I'm, I'm done with basement people. But too many of us been connected to people who got a basement mentality. Meaning you way up here trying to pull them up and down want to go. I need some balcony people connecting to me. Some people who going to stand next to me on the balcony, not be jealous because God is taking me a little further than them. Don't mind walking behind me until they able to get in front of me, man. Do you get what I'm saying to you? That's the type of person I am. You heard me? I don't, I, I listen. Listen, I don't, I, listen, I want everybody to go with me. All my close friends will tell you, I be trying to get them to go everywhere. Let's go. You, we can't stay stuck in that same place no more. I don't care if I'm further than you and I'm gracing platforms with celebrities. You, you, you should be right next to me. What's up? Y'all better get people in your life who believe in you. Even in the midst of your flaws. Get people in your life who going to pray for you and inspire you back to life. Get people in your life who can see your future even when you can't see it yet. I pray for that anointing. Y'all lay around for what I'm finna do in these women's lives. Y'all lay around, man. I'm telling you. Lay around, man. Listen, this was night two, man. Of our 17 night revival, man. Our 17 night, everything new, everything new. And when I say everything new, everything. Some of you, God finna place you in new relationships. Some of you, God finna place new friends around you. Some of you, God finna place new money around you. Some of you, God finna give you new health. Some of you, God finna uh, uh, place new children around you that's about to come out your womb. Some of you about to adopt some kids. I'm telling you, everything new. Some of you got new businesses and new books. And man, listen, my husband read me a little bit of his book today. Y'all know my husband is in rehab. I'm listen, I'm so excited. I'm so glad I sent him there. I'm telling you, he sounded like a whole man and a snack. Oh, if I fall off a little bit, y'all pray for me because I'm probably doing some things in the bedroom. Y'all know I'm a whole realist. But listen, the baby ain't nothing like a praying man. But listen, I can talk about that. We've been married 18 years. We ain't stay married this long by making love to take me to the king. No, baby. No, 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 no. That's a whole nother line, though. Listen, y'all. I love y'all so much. Uh, Pretty Diamond, we have a lunch date tomorrow, and it's on me. Uh, Listen. Listen, God is doing amazing things, and I just been in such a great mood, man. Phyllis, this why I this, listen. This why I ain't bringing my husband back down to Kentucky, cause all y'all did the whole time was laugh. I can't take him to Winter Haven, cause you got uh, ignorant people like Sabrina. I can't take him. Listen, he, he just do the most. He do the most when he around certain people, and I can't take it. One thing I, I do know. And I was on the phone with my friend Toya earlier today. And I told her this. We are in a season where, watch this, 2023, the enemy coming swinging out the gate. You know how usually when you go into the new year, you're going to have the best three months of your life. And you like, I got my life in order. You checking off all your New Year's resolutions. Nah, baby. The devil's swinging already. First, second day in. We got to make sure, man, that we ready for the battle. And we got to stand 10 toes down. Why? Because we're about to experience some of the best days of our life. So I ain't have a good day yesterday. I cried about some things that went on. But then today when I got up, I say, God, you allowed this to happen because you wanted me to start my year off with tears that will water my prayers. 
Tears, I'm a cry baby because I know my tears water my prayers, man. Listen, I love y'all. Don't go to sleep without sowing your seed. Pray and ask God, should you give it to this ministry? He blessed me when he said, the seed you sow tonight is going to carry you the next 300 and something days. Man, I received that. I love you guys. God bless you guys, man. Tune in tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. It's about to go down on night three. This wraps up night two. You guys be blessed.